Hi there, I'm Katie. WordPress is not used just for blogging. It's currently the most popular content management system and it's very extendable using its rich plugin architecture. You can host your WordPress pages on wordpress.com or for real flexibility, you can download and host your own instance. This video will show you how to set up a development environment that will be used in our other WordPress tutorials. If you're running on Windows, the easiest way to get started is by installing the WOMP server web development platform, which contains Apache, PHP and MySQL. It's available from WOMPserver.com. Start the WOMP server installer. On the welcome screen, click Next. Accept the license agreement and click Next. Select the destination location for the software and click Next. Choose whether to create shortcuts, click Next. Click Install and then wait for the installation process to complete. The system needs to know the location of your default web browser. Select its executable. We'll accept the default simply by clicking Open. If you need to use PHP to send out email, you will need to configure your SMTP server and email address. We don't need this and can simply click Next. Done! Click Finish. The WOMP server should start. An icon in the system tray will indicate that the server is up and running. By clicking on its icon, you will bring up the WOMP server services management menu. With the platform software installed, it's time to configure the needed components. WordPress will require a database, which we are going to set up on our MySQL instance. To do this, keep in mind security best practices. We will first create a separate WordPress user. Start the PHP My Admin console. Go to the Privileges tab and click Add a new user. Provide a username. The host that this user can establish connections from, since we're running everything on the same computer, this will be the local host and create a password. To make things easier, under the Database for User section, select the Create Database with same name and grant all privileges option. This should save us some work. Click Create User. We can see here that the user and the database have been created successfully. Our web server is running, the database is created, so now we can install WordPress itself. You can download the installation file from wordpress.org. Extract the zip file and copy or move the WordPress directory to the web server's Apache web directory. This should be immediately visible as http colon slash slash localhost slash wordpress. The first launch of an empty wordpress site should prompt you about a missing configuration file. Click the create a configuration file button, then click let's go. Provide the connection details to your database. The database name, username, password and database host. You can ignore the table prefix for now. Click Submit. On the confirmation page, click Run the install. 
enter a title for the site, as well as a username, password and email for the site's administrator. Click Install WordPress. Done! Choose to log in. Provide the username and password you just created and click Log In. Here it is, your WordPress site, the basis for your WordPress development. In the next tutorial, we'll customize it by creating a simple plugin and widget. Bye-bye, until next time.